Donatello Versace, age 25, son and true inheritor to Dio Brando, and a character that, along with Enrico Pucci, has a lot of psychological depth and has interesting views on the world. In this video, I will be discussing Donatello's character and previously unexplored areas, and I will be discussing his complex duality with Pucci and their plan for heaven. From Donatello's introduction, we immediately see a striking resemblance to Dio Brando and the way he interacts with the world. Due to his past trauma, he feels entitlement to being happy and to the method of happiness that Dio forged, being in the road to heaven. Like Dio, Donatello is not above using bystanders for his own needs, nearly killing three kids to kill Jolene and Hermes in the airplane, one more than was even needed for the plan. Donatello is also very sensitive to being underestimated or looked down upon, which causes a lot of friction between him and Pucci, as Pucci begins to lose faith in Donatello's chances of being Jolene. This rage inside him builds up throughout their exchanges, leading to Donatello betraying Pucci and using the weather report disc. The duality between Donatello and Pucci is very interesting as they are miles apart in personal growth and in overcoming their grief. Pucci has successfully overcome his anger over the loss of his sister, and now he uses his pain to help others avoid their grief in the form of the plan for heaven. However, Donatello has not accepted his past and he applies his hatred towards every situation he is in, which does not allow him to form any trust with Pucci. We see through his stand, Underworld, that he is possessed by his grief, and his stand allows him to weaponize past traumatic events to be used against others, which perfectly symbolizes his character. Like Pucci and White Snake, Underworld also allows Donatello to replay past events and to experience them repeatedly further showing just how troubled Donatello is by his childhood. Ironically, the people who Donatello can bring up from the ground in the replayed events fully accept their fates and they live in the present, completely unlike Donatello, who is consumed by the injustices against him and lives in his own past. It is likely that Pucci could have helped Donatello grow and to become a character more like Dio than Dio Brando if he did not completely mistrust Pucci and feel belittled by him. I would have loved to see Donatello and Pucci grow and work together up until Cape Canaveral. Donatello was a character meant to symbolise the life of Dio Brando, while Pucci is a character that carries on the less selfish, more mature and introspective lessons from Dio. Through Donatello and Pucci, we can see clearly how much Dio grew as a character between part 1 and part 6. Both characters are inheritors to Dio at different stages of his life. The biggest inspiration for Donatello's character is one that I haven't seen mentioned in the community before, being the character Mark Renton from the 1996 British film Trainspotting. Trainspotting follows Renton who is battling with heroin use, which he managed to beat but left him feeling hopeless, resentful towards others and bored with his life. So Renton and his friends went on to do a heroin drug deal for £16,000. However, Renton felt that his friends couldn't be trusted, so he stole most of the money and ran off with it, and tried to claim his own future, at last choosing life, and finally living the life of riches he wanted, leaving behind his old life and achieving betterment through his act of self-preservation and need for happiness. This character development and goal perfectly describes Donatello, and I believe he was based off of it. The movie Trainspotting brought the band Underworld into great popularity in the 90s dance scene due to the movie's massive success as the band is featured in the final scene when Renton lists the rewards he would take from the world now he has betrayed his friends, making him a normal, happy person again. From Donatello's inspiration, we can further see that Donatello is a character that feels trapped and overwhelmed and instead of using other means, he takes the immoral path and betrays others so he can achieve his own selfish dreams. Donatello's past is one of great suffering and one that follows Dio and Jonathan's in part one, being completely neglected by his father for his siblings, leading to him feeling inferior to them. Donatello is forced into living a life of misery and he is falsely accused for stealing shoes as they fell from the sky to him, then being betrayed by the justice system who did not believe his story and sentenced him to a life of loneliness and labour and attention, a story which closely follows that from the movie holes. While his body wastes away and becomes weak, Donatello's stand brings further misery to his life as he self-pities, bringing up a knife that stabs through his hand, leading to infection. 
Donatello from this point is always cursed by traumatic events due to his own stand. Donatello's past led not only to his resentment, which applies to all others around him, but his manipulative and dishonest personality. Perhaps Donatello being forced to pay for crimes he didn't commit as a child and being betrayed by the justice system despite being completely honest led him to having no qualms himself in lying and betraying others. When I read Donatello's chapters, I felt a lot of pity towards his character. While he is definitely a villain that could have tried to overcome his pain, he is all the same a character burdened by events outside of his own control, leading him to become a deeply unhappy person. He is a very tragic villain like Pucci, who would have become a lot better and more moral of a person if not for the events in his past. In conclusion, I love the character of Donatello Versace, and I love the duality between him and Enrico Pucci. They are characters that are deeply tied to their pasts, and characters which could have helped each other in different circumstances, achieving happiness together, representing both the good and the bad of Dio respectively, but perhaps working together in harmony too. It's very unfortunate that we didn't see Donatello more in the story, as I believe he had a lot of potential to grow as a character, and to become a better person once he achieved his own happiness. However, Donatello's past ends up ultimately getting him killed by Enrico Bucci. His own standing memories, which bring people and events from the surface, return back to the earth he relied upon, as he and his ambitions fade away forever. <laughs>